this idea originated as a, as a video, um, a two channel video that I had made. And um, essentially a thousand miles an hour is the speed at which the earth rotates. Um, and I used, um, you know, we think about uh, the sun and the moon, we think about them, you know, traveling around us, like the, um, the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. But really we know that it's, it's us rotating, right? So a thousand miles an hour. So I used this astronomical tracking system, which is basically a mount for a telescope that will allow you to, to point at some object in the sky and it'll keep it in the center of the frame. So instead of mounting a telescope to the, uh, uh, the, the telescope, so like a telescope to the mount, I mounted my camera, uh, in this case, a four by five camera, but also a video camera. And what it would do is it would keep the, the sun, you know, centered, yet the exposure would, it's maybe, um, Arturo, you can zoom in on these two, um, where you can kind of see like, the, the landscape is very blurry, yet the, 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 the one on the left there is the sun and uh, the one on the right is the moon. Uh, it's actually, that one is the, uh, the partial eclipse, um, mm -hmm. as you can see, but it's, um, the landscape there is very blurry. So these are about 20 minute exposures, which would give you enough of the sense of the earth rotating. But, um, and then, uh, do we have an installation slide next? Yes, we do. So you can okay. see different ones. So I'm sure some of you are wondering, like, why are they mounted at these strange angles? So part of the setting up the, the telescope system is you have to tell the system where you are in terms of your longitude and latitude. So it can then calculate where objects are in the sky. Uh, and part of that is you have to physically move the, the mount itself in terms of its angle. And I really like this idea of connecting it, you know, to the earth. So I decided to make these, oh, and the, the camera would be on a crazy angle too. So I like the idea of keeping, keeping it the way it looked as you mount it to the telescope as a way of indicating where on, the, on the earth you are. So. In the case of the last ones, they were shot at Mount Wilson, which is where there is a, a, one of the world's greatest observatories. It's pretty outdated now, but um, it was the center of the astronomical universe at the turn of the century. So I like the idea of having this dialogue with that history. But uh, Los Angeles is at 34 degrees north, so they're on a 34 degree angle. Uh, the ones on the right here are from Canada, from Banff, um, National Park. And they're on, I forget exactly, I think it's 59 or 60. Um, and then I traveled to the Caribbean and did some images there, which are 14 degrees. So there was sort of a varied, um, varied locations and various angles. Do you do any um, um, color correction or manipulation? No, not really. Final? Um, I mean, I guess people call it like straight Photoshop, but, um, no, these are pretty, are pretty, I mean, I do use computers to, to make the images, but mm -hmm. yeah, these are, um, you know, pretty, pretty straight. Let's go to the next slide. Yeah. So this is a behind the scenes image of, uh, me in an attempt to make this at, um, it didn't work but at Monument Valley, I um, made one. Um, so it's this big, big tripod um, and it has this crazy, you can't really see it, but right where the sun is, there's like a 30 pound um, piece of mechanical equipment and like a, a barbell with like a weight on it to counterbalance it. 